Cryptosporidium parvum life cycle. Before we get started, there's a few terms you should know. A sporozoa is a modal spore-like stage of a parasite. A merozoa is a troph-produced viscosogony that is capable of initiating a new sexual or asexual cycle, and a oocyst is a fertilized egg. Cryptosporidium is found in fecal contaminated water. Upon ingestion of the mature oocyst, the life cycle begins. It causes cryptosporidiosis, the number one waterborne illness in the United States. Once it's ingested, the oocyst will exist in the upper GI tract. It is also possible to face respiratory issues if the parasite is vomited and then inhaled. The sporozoites will emerge from the oocyst. These sporozoites are then capable of entering epithelial cells of the upper GI tract. After entering the epithelial cells, they will undergo schizogony. Schizogony is asexual multiplication. After schizogony, they will undergo gametogony which is sexual multiplication. This will then produce a male microgamon as well as a female macrogamon. Microgametes from the microgamons will fertilize the female macrogamon, and this will produce a thick shelled oocyst, which is passed in the feces and is the diagnostic stage. The feces will then contaminate water to reset the cycle. There's also a thin shelled oocyst which is formed, and it is capable of rupturing and releasing sporozoites that reinvade new epithelial cells, which is called autoinfection. And that is the life cycle.